Hi friends, it's Rachel. I wanted to talk today quickly, just a few minutes, about something I was doing with a coaching client, which is that how many options we have with the way that we choose to feel. And I think it's important because oftentimes as we go through our day, we get the feeling that everything's happening to us. And that is a powerless feeling. And then that builds upon itself. And then people begin to irritate us. And then we start to get the resentments. And before we know it, we're eating a bag of potato chips, sitting in our shit, not enjoying our day. And we don't understand what the heck happened. So, there are techniques to begin our day that get us going properly. And then when we go through our day, as stuff starts to happen, when we take it one moment at a time, while keeping our eye on the goal, our day just becomes something that flows through us, not to us. So it's not happening to us. We are happening with it and we're flowing with it. And it's a very powerful feeling and it becomes a very natural feeling because what we're doing is simply letting go of resistance. So I'll take you through something which is you get up in the morning and whether you have kids or not, whether you are taking them to school or rushing off to your job, the first thing when we get up is to hug a pillow. Not even the person next to you. This is just for you. Maybe there's no one next to you. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing. But to hug your pillow, take a deep breath in and say, thank God I have another day. That's number one. Say it a couple times. I've been doing that for years now and I get a huge smile on my face in the morning because there's hundreds of thousands of people that think they're waking up tomorrow and they're not going to. So let's hope that we're not in that group and that we get another day tomorrow and we're gonna start it by hugging our pillows, breathing in, being so thankful that we've got our breath and saying thank you for another day. Immediately there's a tinge of excitement coming into our day. And as we do the first few things that we do, whatever that is, getting dressed, brushing our teeth, brushing our hair, taking a shower, just stay in that moment. Tell yourself, mind, we're gonna start thinking when we get our coffee. Right now, we're staying in gratitude. Feel the water coming down onto your head from your shower. Feel the water on your face if you're washing your face. Feel so thankful that we've got teeth in our mouth so that we can enjoy all the food that we enjoy during the day. Just little things, and it might feel funny at first, I don't know, and it might feel very natural. It might bring a big smile to your face. It might make you say, what the heck is Rachel talking about? This is baloney. Whatever it is, just keep doing it, and keep doing it for a few days and see how that feels. I have a feeling that it's gonna bring you into a place of getting out of immediately jumping into your day. It's not healthy for our mind. It's not healthy for our breathing. It's not healthy for our emotions to just automatically start going into overdrive. And then we're getting our clothes on. We're happy that we have the money to have those clothes. Even if we're in debt, we've got clothes in the closet, right? And we've got them on. We can walk down the stairs and then we can go for our coffee. And tomorrow I'll start with the coffee and what we do from there on in to handle the incoming thoughts. And if we keep breaking it down moment to moment to moment, by the time that we get to the end of a day, I'm going to ask for your input, but I have a feeling that we're all going to feel as if we've been creating our days. And when we are creating our days, no matter what happens, we get stuck in rush hour, we can still create our day. It's not happening to us. We're flowing with what's happening 
in the rush hour, what we can do with our time during that, knowing that at the end of the day we're going to get home somehow and even if we miss an event because of rush hour or it doesn't go as planned or we're late we're going to use the time during the rush hour to be thankful for what's going on and then realize that as the day ends it wasn't as bad as we thought in that moment so love you all have a beautiful day namaste I'll talk to you tomorrow.